parents, students, and alumni from San Francisco Public High Schools held a rally today to denounce incendiary tweets by a school board member. Board Vice President Allison Collins's tweets from more than four years ago recently came to light and allege anti-blackness, quote, within the Asian community. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live in San Francisco with the group's list of demands. Andrea? Well, they also want Allison Collins to resign, but they are also asking that Lowell High School here, the famous academic institution, the famous public high school, the elite public high school, goes back to a merit-based system and not a lottery system as well. Standing in front of Lowell High School, a group of alums and Democratic leaders took SFUSD to task over two issues of race. First, the admissions policy at Lowell moving from a merit-based system to a lottery system and years-old tweets from Board Vice President Allison Collins. They want the board to reverse the February 9th vote to turn Lowell admissions into a lottery. This is the cream of the crop. These are students who because of either socioeconomic situations, cannot afford a private school education, but they have worked really hard in order to earn their spots here. Reverend Amos Brown, invited to speak today, says the board did not face the racial disparities at Lowell, where only 45 students are black, and instead punted the hard work. But what they did do on the 9th was to say that there's something that's missing at Lowell change the admission policy so that we would get more black students in this school. There were also calls for the Board of Education Vice President Allison Collins to resign over allegedly racist tweets she sent in 2016 about the Asian American community. She apologized in a medium post over the weekend, but calls for her resignation have been heard from the mayor's office to Sacramento. My answer is racism anytime is wrong. And you can't misunderstand those texts. But Reverend Amos Brown of Third Baptist Church says before resignation, the community needs to listen to what she has to say. We, as a people, need to stop calling for resignations and talk to people. If there are wrinkles somewhere, you get the iron and you iron it out. Now, a short time ago, the San Francisco Unified School District began their weekly meeting. Among the things that happen, have happened already are member statements. We have something now from Allison Collins. Let's play the tape. I'd like to re-emphasize my sincere and heartfelt apologies. And I'm currently engaging with my colleagues and working with community for the good of all children in our district. Now, there are still a lot of items on the agenda tonight, including public comment. We've heard multiple calls for Allison Collins's resignation, but the board also has to hash out things like finding a new superintendent and the reopening plan for SFUSD to fully reopen to students. This meeting is expected to run very, very late into the night. Live in San Francisco tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.